Hey guys, I'm here today with my friend Elif. Hi. We're gonna do a video that has been requested frequently by mostly medical students. So I hope you enjoy and let's start. So first, one medicine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good question. Because I would lie if I said I was so passionate about medicine and I wanted to become a doctor so badly. Uh, but it was more about like my family wanting it. And also I was a good student. Middle school, high school, I was a really good student. So, you know, it's like either law, engineering, like, or medicine, like. So I thought, what can I do? Because my hobbies, my passions are just so out of these categories like I didn't want any of these uh, to be my job in the future but I thought that I love psychology and it was my interest so I thought maybe psychiatry would be a good option uh, so medicine makes sense I loved biology also like I didn't want physics or anything so that's just like my basic <laughs> so for me it was totally the opposite <laughs> My parents, like my whole family, were against it, and um, I had to convince them very difficultly. Exactly. You were the, you're the <laughs> only one I heard that needed yeah. to convince their parents. Actually, to yes, I really tried so hard to convince them to get into medicine. They were totally against it. <laughs> it was the first time you <laughs> heard it. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. They just didn't want me to suffer and like. <laughs> That's right. Yes. So yeah, and plus my, I've always been the curious child. I really wanted to know how things work in our body. Why does our head hurt? Why does our leg go numb? So I was really curious about these things. Plus biology was my favorite subject. I've always scored really high in it. So yeah, I think it's passion. I think you, should, you can see the difference yeah. here. There's a difference here. <laughs> yeah. Now let's begin with the 10 important things you should know before getting into medicine. Number one, the first year. Yes, first year. So what, what to expect? What to expect, yeah. Um, well, I would say it's gonna be hard, but it's not like, don't take it as like, oh, medicine is so hard, and like the subjects and like, no, it's not about the exams or whatever. It's about like adaptation and like, like you're like, I don't know where am I, like what am I doing, what's the like what's this, what's that, like blah 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 and you're of course making friends, hopefully. Allow myself to introduce myself. So <laughs> it's about that, like what's hard is that you're in a new environment and you're not in high school anymore, maybe you're away from your parents or like blah blah blah, so it's not about the exams, you're gonna go like look back and say oh first year was so easy, but it's more about like what's going on so don't like stress about it just try to you know enjoy the first days like friends and like, everything it's not about the exams i would say first year was helpful like <laughs> totally yeah. hell it was difficult in the matter of what elif said and uh, well the main thing that you should expect is that you will be having basic information like biomedical information so don't think that you'll directly know how to treat something or diagnose something it's too early for that so it's more basic knowledge but basic knowledge that you mostly may have taken in high school so don't worry about this it's not too difficult okay number two know how to study this is like the most important thing in med school so it's different for everyone like I can't say study like this, study like that, but I can. What I can say is find your own way of studying because it's gonna be different. Don't look at other people and think this is the right way. Like I always write when I'm studying. Like I take notes, a lot of notes, and it takes so much time, like hours and hours. And some people just find it very like frustrating, which I understand. But I can't just like read something and understand. It just like goes from my brain and it doesn't stay so I need to write something so I would say just like be like try to understand how do you understand like what makes you understand the concept of things and 
not memorizing them, I would say. Also, David is my classmate and also he is my study partner. So what we do is that I explain things like in a very basic matter, like matter to him and then he enjoys listening. So it's like active learning. I, you know, I, I, when I explain the thing, I understand it more. To me, the most important thing is scheduling and organizing. Like, um, you can't uh, take a schedule of someone else's because like it needs to match or suit your pace, time and energy. So just um, organize your own schedule. Um, this is like the ideal thing. And second, like I choose this method always. Unlike if I attend all the lectures, <laughs> I like to listen to all the lectures yeah. and then go back home, summarize them and watch daily. Video <laughs> daily. <laughs> On a daily basis. What I would say, like, don't pile things up. Like, okay, um, I don't study daily, but like, I don't put everything to the last minute because you're just gonna be like crashing underneath all of that. So don't. Like make your schedule and yeah and then I watch a YouTube video YouTube, YouTube videos for medical students are the best thing yeah. because they simplify all the complicated information that you may have heard during the lecture so uh, I'll put links to the most uh, to the best YouTube channels for medicine in the description below number three it's uh, choosing your spot yeah well finding your spot can be the best thing that you can have during your journey in medicine. Um, what I want to tell you guys, don't fall into the comparison trap and choose your spot carefully. Pick those who share the same passion, um, the same goals, and those who encourage you to do better and be better. Well, what I would add on is that the comparison, the race, and it's real in medical school classes. The people will going to enjoy seeing you not succeed for selfish reasons and you know, there's gonna be people that say like, I didn't study and like, <laughs> will get the highest grade and just, you know, try to suck up to the props and <laughs> like stay away from those toxic people do not listen to that voice you know just do your own thing don't compare yourself to anybody and just find good people because you're gonna have six years with the same people number four from someone who has always been like caring about the grades Get higher grades and always like on the run to get it. I want to tell you guys, it's not worth it. It's not the most important thing in the world. Just please don't neglect your mental health, uh, your eating, or like obtain bad habits just to get those high grades. Okay, they make you feel better and uh, you want to make your family proud. Okay, you can do your best, but don't just like distress yourself into just getting that high grade mm -hmm. because you're gonna lose yourself afterwards. My mistake was that I used to try to memorize things instead of just getting the general idea of what was it saying. So even though I get the good grades, it's like I forget it the next day. So it's not that important. Just, you know, just pass and don't stress about it. Number five, it's about managing the stress. And it's really important to keep your mental health on a good place because, you know, there's so many of us that go into the depression hall, I think, with the medical school. But I would say just don't be afraid to make a fool out of yourself. Like, I always thought that, oh, if I got a bad grade or, you know, if I was bad in the oral examination with a problem, it's just gonna make me look bad, but it's just such a, I don't know, naive way of thinking. It's not important. It's not important what people think of you. Well, what you should know, guys, is that if you're in med school, pressure and stress will always be around. So uh, it's a, like an endless cycle of stress and pressure. 
So I'm not telling you to adapt to it, I'm telling you to avoid stressing and pressure. I know many medical students, including myself, who got into depression and like severe depression and it can get worse. Like if you overload your brain, it will become like even worse than depression. Uh, there was like a lot of studies uh, talking about how stress affects the performance of students during the exam and those who were less stressed and didn't put themselves into this amount of pressure did much better than those who did. Um, even though like the ones who stress too much may have studied even harder than those who, did, who didn't like stress. So yeah, it's scientifically proven. It's not worth it. <laughs> Number six. I'm gonna emphasize difference between the basic sciences and the clinical part of the medical school. So when you first start at the medical school, you think, oh, like, I'm just going to go into the hospital and like, you know, my stethoscope and I'm just going to like, oh, blood pressure or like stitches, like whatever. It doesn't happen like that. And first two years, you need to take the basic sciences, like anatomy, physiology, even three, three years of them. Yeah. yeah she, the third year, you're like slowly starting with the like clinical stuff, just like learning yeah, it. Yeah, theoretically, but, like you're not yeah, going to do anything yeah. in those three years. Fourth year, you're in the rotations, in the hospital, doing something. Number seven is social life. I'm going to take the lead here a little bit <laughs> because I had a lot of that during medical school. And I would say it's totally worth it to have a social life because, you know, you can do both. Don't let yourself or other people put you in a box because all my like friends and relatives would say, oh, you're like studying medical school, how did you go here, how did you do that? Because I would be traveling and doing the most. I travel the world, I travel in my city, in my country. You can do it. Don't think like because you missed two days you're not going to be able to have a good grade or understand it because like I wouldn't go to <laughs> for the next like the first three years like when it's not like mandatory I wouldn't go yeah. and I would just study well for me again I'm totally the opposite of <laughs> Elif <laughs> but like I'm such an introvert I would rather stay home study or like after I finish exam I'd rather just like rest, clean up, do my hobbies and not go out. But let me tell you, it's very important to go out of your comfort zone. Like socializing is not only just going around and like going to different countries. It's also about uh, making connections with others. Uh, that will be like a very important skill that you can use in medicine, which is communication skills. You're gonna have that a lot in medicine and socializing actually nurtured that skill. Number eight. Hobbies. Yes, hobbies. So you can, you have to maintain your hobbies. Like mm -hmm. just keep, keep your hobbies a part of you because they're the only things that will touch your soul um, like away from all the medical knowledge mm -hmm. and the stressors in your life. So find your peace of mind uh, while doing those hobbies. For me, it was mostly about exercising, healthy eating, and or playing music and reading. Okay, number nine is to be curious. Definitely don't be that annoying student who interrupts the lecture and asks useless questions. Yeah. But always do note down all everything that you're curious about, that you'd like to learn and wait till the end of the lecture, meet your professor and ask them. They will guide you through the information, may add, add extra information. So, and yeah, professors and doctors really love hardworking students and like future doctors. So um, be that. So, some people think it's a talent to just come <laughs> bring out questions, asking them constantly. Like, people know that you know it. Just be quiet, you know? Everyone's just gonna hate you. If that's what you want, you're on the right path. Number 10. Well, it's the postgraduate plans. So what I want to tell you guys 
is that I'm still kind of lost. But the most important thing is to plan it early. Like think about it early during your medical education. Ask a lot of people who like have the experience of uh, such exams, whether it's the USMLE, use the CLABS, or Lotus for Turkey. Ask around those who did it and get as much information as you can. Or even like if you want to do your country's board exam, just like investigate the requirements, like the sources that you need. Just start to uh, systematically uh, study according to the board exam that you want to do after you graduate. Yeah, and that will be like the end of our video. Don't forget to hold your vision and embrace the process and enjoy this journey because otherwise you're not going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Subscribe <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and you'll find our Instagram account in the description below. So follow us. Ask questions if you like. Exactly. If you're a new student, yes, please put your questions in the comments below. Yes. We will try to answer all of them. And yeah, see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm currently going to a bachelorette party. Uh, these guys are recording on. Uh, but guys, when you go to med school, a lot of your friends might start getting married or even some might have having their children or kids. Just know that you have to wait your time. This is how it's going to be. Yeah. So, peace out. <laughs> You're just chilling. Yeah.